welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy Winans, and I'm here today to show you how to make homemade pizza. So many people order pizza on Friday nights, and they're sitting around thinking, well, surely I can do this from scratch, and you can't. It's very simple and easy. In fact, I have people, my coworkers, uh, friends at church, to the grocery store clerks ask me all the time, you make pizza every week? It's true, every Friday night our family makes homemade pizza. And I wanna share some of those tips and tricks with you because you may think, well my schedule's way too busy, oh it's just easier to order it. It tastes so much better when you make it that pretty soon you'll think, why did I ever order pizza? parts of making pizza is making your own sauce. I start off by taking one teaspoon of garlic and I let it heat up in the pan for just a moment on its own. You don't want garlic to get too hot or it leaves a bitter taste. Then you dump in one can of your favorite kind of tomato sauce. This is a very simple recipe. It's one teaspoon of garlic one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of basil. I let that simmer for a few minutes. You don't really want it to boil. When it starts popping and snapping out of your pan, than you've had it on the heat too long. I like to just heat it thoroughly, let all the spices just kind of come together, and there you have it. Very simple pizza sauce. One of the best tips we have found for making homemade pizza so amazingly delicious is using a pizza stone. You can buy these pizza stones from those home selling networks or you can f actually find them just locally around town. Sometimes I order them online. We currently have three because we're a family of six. And like I said, we make pizza every week, but let me show you one of the tricks to making sure you have a hot, fresh stone to put your pizza on. Before I start the crust, I heat my stone up in a 450 degree oven. This will ensure my crust being crispy. While your stone is heating up in the oven, that is the time to make your crust. A few tricks that we have learned is to make sure that you use bread flour. There's a little bit more gluten in bread flour and so it rises a little bit higher without too much yeast and will also come out with the crispy crust that you're looking for in a pizza. I've already added some flour in my um, mixer now, if you don't have a mixer, don't be intimidated to do this for, by hand. We have done it for years and years when I did not have my handy dandy mixer, and you can do this by hand, but today I'm going to show you how to do it in a mixer. So we start by adding the flour, and then again, I use very simple, easy ingredients. You want to have two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, and two teaspoons of yeast. If you've never worked with yeast before, do not be intimidated. You just need to knead it. You don't need to let it rise. It will do all that in the oven when you have all the ingredients already on top of your pizza crust. So then I start mixing up the flour, the sugar, and the yeast and incorporate it all together. I'm making about three pizzas today. As I mentioned, we're a family of six. So currently I have four cups of flour along with the ingredients I've already shared with you. To my four cups of flour and my yeast, sugar, and salt, I'm going to add two cups of warm water. In my cup of two cups of warm water, I am going to add just a touch of vegetable oil. I'm going to start my mixer, and if you don't have a mixer, just blend it all in, and you can mix it with a big spoon or your hands. And I'm just going to incorporate in the water and oil. You want to work it together, knead it by hand, or let your machine knead it until it's just a little on the sticky side. 
See how it's sticking to the bowl? It's sticking to my hands. It's kind of a gooey mess. And then I throw it into my flour. And I finish it up in flour. Soft to the touch. The flour just gives it that final little texture that you need to make it into an absolutely beautiful little round ball. Then we're going to turn into a cute little pizza crust. Since my stone is being heated up in a 450 degree oven, I'm not going to make crust on a 450 degree stone. So another trick or tip that we've learned is to make our crust on parchment paper, on a cookie sheet. It can slide right off of this cookie sheet, right onto a hot stone, and the parchment paper will not burn. It's perfectly good to cook your pizza on the parchment paper on a hot stone. First, I'm gonna take a little bit of cornmeal, sprinkle it on my parchment paper, and then you remember our cute little ball of dough? We're gonna turn it into a sweet little crust. I go around the edges, pinching it tightly in a circle, making the outline of where I want my actual crust or the edges of my pizza to be. See, you can see the outline or the shape of a pizza crust happening and I just work out from the center, making sure I don't push down the area that I want to stay as my edge or crust. Getting the cheese ready while my crust is resting for a few minutes. And a lot of people think, well, I'm going to buy already pre-grated mozzarella. Pre-grated raw mozzarella will not melt as nicely, nor have as good a taste on your pizza as buying block mozzarella and hand grating it yourself. And the texture, the softness, and it just melts and makes some of the gooeyest best pizza. Now our pizza is taking shape. We can actually see what it's going to be. Today we're just making a very simple pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni seems to be everyone's favorite. So we start off by putting our homemade sauce. Put it on your pizza, spread it around, leaving the edges. If you like lots of sauce, use a lot. If you don't like very much, use a little. It's really the nice thing about making your own pizza is it's your discretion. Next step after the sauce is a little bit of mozzarella that we grated. It's so gooey and yummy. And then top with pepperoni. Now top with mozzarella. Another trick that we've learned is to add just a small amount of cheddar cheese to the top of your pepperoni and the, it just makes the flavor pop. Now our gorgeous pepperoni pizza is ready to go in on our hot slab. Step back when you open the door because it is hot, 450 degrees, preheated. And the parchment paper on the cookie sheet will slide right off onto that stone. Hi folks, so I get the privilege of cutting the pizza. 
All right, so you want to start right in the middle, right down the middle, come this way a little bit here. And watch your fingers because it's boiling and it can be hot. And your pizza's cut and ready to enjoy. If you guys could taste this, you'd subscribe. Ready? Hey, well, I was gonna wait for him to not be running water. Hey, hey, you drink that? See you. Okay.